Welcome, Sasha Bayin, another segment of Coaching in the Bigs. Exciting year for you, WTA Coach of the Year last year, the first one. I think uh, that's a heck of an effort, winning the U.S. Open uh, for Naomi was such a great accomplishment. How did the uh, U.S. Open feel for you? Just very happy and proud of Naomi and what she achieved and how far she's come in this short term of our like, you know, relationship and how we work together. So. How has the landscape changed for her and has it changed how you have to deliver information and prepare her? Well, landscape for her, of course, um, a lot, as you might <laughs> want to imagine. But um, no, we, you know, she's she's still the same. She's, uh, you know, still Naomi, and um, we still joke and talk and you know practice the same we did before. Thank God, you know, nothing changed there, and um, it's just it's just beautiful to be around someone like that. With, with that with that new landscape and the new expectation, external and internal pressures. Does your philosophy change in terms of how much you deal with emotional, mental stuff versus technical stuff? No, I really, um, you know, this year, especially this year, I wanted to approach it a little different way. I really wanted to just, you know, be able to look in the mirror at the end of the day and just tell myself I gave 100% no matter what. Like, that's something I really wanted to learn that, like, you know, on a daily basis that she goes all out. And, um, and then there's little technical stuff we do want to take on, but um, mentally, as the U.S. Open final showed already, you know, she's, um, she's pretty good with that. I want to ask you, the viewers at home, they're always going to want to know, is there one shot or something they should look at that you've really focused on for her where she's made some improvements? Well, we're trying to work on the serve a lot. You know, I do believe it's her biggest weapon, but I do believe there's also a lot of room for improvement, like the accuracy, first service percentage. And, um, you know, if she, if she serves over 65%, around that uh, number, first set or second set, third set, she's always going to take it, I believe. So we worked a little bit on that. I want to ask you a little bit about the off-season, because she won her first major. What do you do in an off-season to prepare to get ready for 2019 after kind of climbing the rankings ladder and bang, being one of the greats? Yeah, that was, to my surprise, pretty easy, because I do believe there's only two types of people, you know, in this world. One is that if you get a big success, you say, all right, thank you, I'm going to relax for a minute. Or the other person, you know, who's like, oh, I love it, let's go, let's get some more. And Naomi, to my, you know, to my luck, is the, the last one. So she, she was eager to come back. Um, we had a two-week uh, silence, you know. I went on the boat a little bit, Perfect. and she was enjoying herself a little bit. And then we just came right back to work, and she worked as hard as never before. And um, it's really beautiful. Well, listen, congratulations on an amazing 2018 WTA Coach of the Year. Great effort for, Na for Naomi, and uh, good luck 2019. Sasha, thanks. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Appreciate it.